Fuck this, I'm out of here. Good. Welcome to another Revival Cycles Tech Talk. My name is Jeff Barry, and I'm going to be your host. Today is going to be another part in our series on the Moto Gadget M unit installation. More specifically, I'm going to try to address the many questions that we get about the various LEDs on the M unit and what they're trying to communicate to you. To do that, we're going to use a test board that I've built to simulate situations that you might encounter so that you can recognize them when you see them in the field. Most of this will also be outlined somewhere in the manual, but as of yet, it hasn't been condensed into an easy to reference resource. Connecting battery power to the M unit. When the positive and negative cables are both connected, all of the LEDs will flash momentarily. Switching the ignition key to the on position. When the key is turned to the on position, with the default settings, the lock input, ignition out, and aux out LEDs will light, indicating power to these circuits. Entering manual programming mode. Press and hold the horn button while switching the key to the on position. The turn signals will flash momentarily, then the aux 2 input LED will flash. From here, follow the steps outlined in your manual. Entering Bluetooth pairing mode. Open the MRIDE app and follow the prompts for Bluetooth pairing. The first steps are the same as the manual programming mode. Press and hold the horn button while switching the key to the on position. The turn signals will flash momentarily, then the AUX2 input LED will flash. From here, press and hold the start button for 10 to 15 seconds until the turn signals flash again momentarily. Establishing a Bluetooth connection. When a phone is paired to the M unit, the turn signals will briefly light and then fade out. So long as the connection is maintained, the lock input LED will flicker, indicating a paired phone is within range. When the connection is lost, the turn signals will again light and then fade out. Using Keyless Go. With your phone paired to the M unit, press the horn and the start buttons simultaneously. The lock, ignition out, and aux 1 LEDs will light, indicating power to these circuits. Then press the start button again to activate the starter motor. Voltage calibration mode. When activated, the outputs will light up in succession as the M unit assesses baseline power requirements for each output. Once completed, the M unit will return to the default status with the lock, ignition out, and AUX1 LEDs lit. Short to ground. When an electrical short is detected, the M unit will immediately remove power to the circuit. Approximately 15 to 20 seconds after, the terminal LED will flash and the phone will indicate a fault has been detected. Overload at Output Auxiliary 2. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, and you want to see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.